Okay, so we just finished up our live stream introducing the Model Y to the family. Anyway though, we actually decided to take out all the front contents during that live stream. I kind of want to make a quick video so it doesn't get lost because I think that live stream was like two hours. I wanted to show you guys one of the coolest features of Model Y that you will never ever see. So here in the Model Y front, uh, as you see, we took all that out, we took all this out. Here is what it looks like. A lot going on here. Um, we have our windshield wiper fluid, we got some uh, brake fluid, we got some coolant, we've got this huge air intake. We've actually got, that's where the hardware three or full self-driving computer lives with its uh, coolant going to it and everything. You have the active grill shutter, which is right there. It's actually right here. And that's where it goes in and that's what helps keep all the coolant cool. And you have these, which look like massive, like heat distribution units, like a little radiators. We did actually see that in here, I don't know if you can see the wires right there with the white tape for the sound maker, but the sound maker is not there because that is the grill that you're actually seeing. So there's some interesting things in here. I don't know if you guys have seen though, the most interesting thing is actually right there. That is the heat pump. And this is actually making the model Y very, very efficient. You can actually see we got like the motor down there and everything, but the heat pump really will help with like cabin heating and like heating the motors or anything like that. It just makes the car far more efficient. It actually does say this is the chiller assembly right here. And this is the LCC assembly right here. And yes, as you can see, it does still have a 12 volt battery uh, that was debated on whether or not that would actually need a 12 volt or if they could just tap into the main battery, but it is still there. Um, but overall, it's actually a lot cleaner under here than it is in the Model 3. So a lot of people have actually noticed driving in the winter can use up a lot of your battery range for things like heating up the battery, heating up the cabin, a very important part for a lot of people. So previous S, X, and 3, or as we like to sometimes say, S, 3, and X, have used a resistive heating system. So it's actually like an electric heating element and that will only produce heat if it's turned on and resistive heating is considered 100% efficient. Every unit you put in, you get one back as heat. So it's first noticed in the Model Y owner's manual once it went online that the Model Y now includes a heat pump. And this is pretty new because no Tesla has ever had a heat pump no. in it from the factory before. However, Nissan has put that in their electric vehicles. So, so there's just this one sentence in the owner's manual that just says Model Y uses a heat pump to maximize efficiency. Therefore, your air conditioning compressor and external fan may run and make noise even when the outside temperature is cold and your vehicle is heating or supercharging. So the way this works is that the heat pump will actually use a refrigerant to trap the heat and move it to a different location. Instead of using electricity to generate the heat, such as a resistive heater, the heat pump uses the electricity to run a compressor that moves the refrigerant around the system to move the heat and to be able to heat air for the interior cabin or even be able to heat up the battery. And since it's only using the electricity to run the compressor instead of an actual heater, it uses far less electricity. And it's like 300% efficient. Yeah, which like 300 is, is hard to think of how it can be so efficient in terms of energy loss and all that, but it's just the way it works makes it extremely efficient, but it can be a little bit slower to heat up like the cabin and everything. Um, so there's some slight trade-offs. We'll have to play around with that when it gets a little colder and see exactly how fast it does heat up. The, the, but the benefit is the car still has heating elements, also the exactly. seat heater. So, you know, with the combination of those, you can keep the car heated. Exactly. And it's more efficient, which means your range will not be as affected, hopefully, in the winter when you have to use your cabin heat and all that. But much like David said, try to use your seat heaters as much as possible, especially if it's just me driving. I almost will always use seat heaters exclusively because those are more efficient. I'm heating up just where I'm sitting rather than the entire car 
no one else is in it. Also, in, in the winter, I'm typically wearing a coat because if yeah, I'm out true. walking the dogs or if I have to walk from my parking lot at work, yep. to, you know, to get to my office, I'm gonna need a coat. So I'm not gonna be wearing a short sleeve shirt like this in the winter. So yeah, in the grand scheme of it, heating the battery and the cabin with this heat pump rather than like the resistive heat or anything will actually mean more range, which is what everyone wants. Tesla has also in their previous models used the heat from the motors that's generated to heat up the battery. So now that they have this heat pump, it should really solve a lot more because they can still use some of that from the motors to help heat up the cabin through the heat pump and everything. And it's only gonna be a matter of time until they bring this probably fleet wide. That would be nice to see it in the other cars as well. Yeah, because that just means S, X, and 3 should get that much more of a bump in range. And maybe they're even going to start doing that in the S sooner than later because it did just get a pretty big bump mm -hmm. in range up to 390 miles without a bigger battery, without a couple other things. So it could be that these are actually making their way into S and X. Heat pumps have been around for, for ages, but usually you're only going to see those in homes. And yeah. we've actually researched getting one added to our house just to replace the existing boiler or, or to work in conjunction with it, but we haven't gone through with that yet. But it, it's, a, it's a great way, a very efficient way to heat your home. Yeah, if you have a heat pump in your home, definitely let us know down in the comments below. Or if you have a Nissan Leaf and maybe you've experienced in that, let us know what you've experienced. And hopefully we'll get some colder weather soon and we'll go ahead and test that out and see just how quickly the Model Y interior will heat up. With our FLIR camera, we'll be able to see that really well. But yeah, that's basically it with this one. We just wanted to show you guys a first look at this heat pump. We took apart the whole frunk so y'all could see it. So definitely smash that thumbs up button. Again, though, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model S, X, 3, or Model Y, much like this one, definitely check them out, all linked down below. A lot of really cool accessories that we're gonna be putting in here, such as the matte screen protector, really gonna cut down on glare, as well as fingerprints, because it has a lot of oleophobic properties, as well as a center console wrap, because this gloss black material, very fingerprint prone, and very easy to scratch. So we wanna keep this looking as good as possible. But they have all kinds of cool stuff, so definitely check them out. As always though, thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Go and click here to subscribe, here for some other ones, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.